One night, after a meeting, I had the conversation with Jeff Dillon. And he kind of came up to me and said, Kim, when are you going to be the chair of the Ed Department? And I said, oh, Jeff, I don't know if I could do that. He said, you know, really it's not about you. He said, if it is offered to you, you have to take it for all your ancestors. You have to take it for your grandparents. You have to take it for all the African American people who deserved positions like this, but were denied because of racism, oppression, and social injustice. He got my attention. I started to think a lot about W.E.B. Du Bois, first African American to earn a PhD from Harvard in 1895. With all of his academic excellence, intellectual brilliance, which was undeniable and recognized the world over by people of all races and ethnicities. With all the studies he conducted and the books he published, Du Bois was never offered a tenure track position at a traditionally white institution. So clearly, if the position would be offered to me, I would not be the first African American to deserve it but I would have an opportunity that many never had. I began to embrace the role, and my language shifted from if I ever become chair to when I become chair. Now that I am chair, I acknowledge that I did not get here alone. I am clearly the beneficiary of the struggles of the ancestors who came before me and could not get to where I am today like Du Bois. And those who broke through the walls of racism, oppression, and social injustice to attain leadership positions at traditionally white institutions like Barbara Avery, Asa Hilliard, 